Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry made a brave decision by stepping back from royal duties and moving to the United States, Sarah Ferguson has said. Prince Andrew's ex-wife hailed the Sussexes as trailblazers in an interview on Australian TV. Asked if she thought the Sussexes had struggled to make the transition, Fergie told host Matt Shervington, The thing is, and I'm really adamant about this, is that anyone that is out there really trailblazing for their own beliefs, and it doesn't matter where you're from or who you are, you trailblaze for what you believe, that's very brave. I would never be one to make a comment on any other member of the royal family or anybody who does that. I just find anyone that stands very tall about their own beliefs is very brave, whoever it is. Harry and Meghan announced in January 2020 that they would step down as senior working royals. They initially moved to Canada before settling in Montecito, California, where they live with their children, Prince Archie Harrison and Princess Lilibet Diana. Follow below for live updates one hour ago 07 colon 13 Jonathan King Sir Ian Rankin to receive knighthood at Buckingham Palace Sir Ian, creator of Detective Inspector John Rebus and winner of several national and international awards, will be knighted for services to literature and charity. The University of Edinburgh graduate, 63, is known across the world for his crime novels focused on Rebus which are mostly based in and around the Scottish capital. Receiving the most distinguished order of St. Michael and St. George will be businessman Sir Mo Ibrahim. Sudanese-born Sir Mo, founder of the Mo Ibrahim Foundation, will be recognized for services to charity and to philanthropy. Also picking up a gong at the investiture ceremony on Tuesday is internationally renowned bowler Sandra Bailey who has been made an MBE for services to bowls. The grandmother from County Down holds the record for the highest number of Irish indoor titles, 29, and has earned 42 Irish caps as well as won two British titles in triples and pairs competitions. Meanwhile, Former Saracens player Floyd Stedman, the first black scrum half and captain of a top flight English rugby union club, will be made an OBE for services to rugby union football, to education and to charity. Others picking up gongs include theatre producer Sonia Friedman who has been made a CBE for services to theatre, actor Cleo Silvest who has been made an MBE for services to drama and to charity, and opera singer Christine Rice who has been made an MBE for services to opera. Harry Haber will be made an MBE for charitable services and to Holocaust education, 